Welcome to Neuer Yachting video check-in for both size matters. Size matters is 2022 Bavaria C50. Come with me and let me show you how she works. Let's start from here. Inside of this cabinet you can find the 12 volt panel. This screen here shows water level, fuel level and battery levels. This is anchor light, deck light, navigation light, steaming light and this is used for boat thruster and autopilot. Refrigerator, water pump, shower pump, bilge pump, webasto and anchor control. Some new light, cabin light and this is used for music. Inside this cabinet here there are more 12 volt switches, bilge pump control buttons and 220 volt switches. We have here windlass control, house batteries and starting battery. Bilge pump control has three positions automatic, off and manually on. This is indication of 230 volt and these are 230 volt switches. You have explanation on this sticker here. On this switch you can choose between shore power and generator power and this is generator power control. To start the generator panel you need to press this button here and then press start button. After preheating process the generator will start. When the generator is on, you can switch to generator power. This switch here controls battery charger and electricity in AC plugs. And this switch here is used for air conditioning units. Number one is shore power and number two is generator power. There are three air conditioning units and controls are located on the port side of the boat. One in stir cabin, one in saloon, and one in bow cabin. To turn off generator, press the stop button and after a couple of seconds you can turn off panel by pressing power button. The boat has two water tanks and water tank valves are located in this corner of the saloon near the water pump. If you ever forget where the water pump is, start it on the panel and then open the water. After that, you can easily locate the pump. Lift the cushions. Remove the cover. And here is the water pump. These are water tank valves. This valve is open and this valve is closed. Only one valve should be open at a time. When you empty the water from this tank, close it. And then you can open the other water tank valve. Water intake is located on the bow port side of the boat. In all three toilets, the waste tank valve is located in the same place, under the sink in this cabinet here. This is the valve and please keep it closed in all marinas, swimming places and anchorage places. When you are three miles away from the shore, you can open it. This is toilet pump. When you finish using the toilet, Push the lever on the left side to pump the water in. Pump the toilet between 15 and 20 times. And then push the lever on the right side and pump the water out of the toilet. Keep in mind that you can block the toilet by throwing paper and wet tissues in the toilet, so please use provided bins. Shower pumps are automatic, so all you have to do is start it on a 12 volt panel. The pump will start and stop automatically. Boat thruster and anchor fuses are located in a bow port side cabin in the cabinet under the bed. When you remove the bed linen, you can remove this cover here. These are the fuses. 
This is bow thruster fuse and this is the anchor fuse. If you burn them, you will need to change them. We have spare ones in the skipper table and all needed toolkit. Cooking gas valve is located in the kitchen under the oven in this cabinet here. In this position the valve is open and if you turn it 90 degrees the valve is closed. The main gas valve is on the gas bottle which is located on the stern port side of the boat. To turn the gas on rotate the valve anti-clockwise and to turn it off rotate it clockwise. Size Matters also has a cockpit grill, which is on the starboard side of the boat. And grill has its own separate gas valve. Remove the inspection cover. And the grill shut off valve is inside. In this position it's open, and if you turn it for 90 degrees, it's closed. station you have various instruments, boat thruster control, autopilot, chart plotter and separate instrument for all kind of information. This is boat thruster control. To activate it, press and hold the middle button until both lights are on. Now you can use the boat thruster. To turn it off, just press the middle button. To avoid burning the fuse, don't use the boat thruster longer than 4 seconds. To activate the autopilot, press the command auto. 1 degree to the port side, 1 degree to the starboard side, and then port side 10 degrees, and starboard side 10 degrees. When you want full control of the wheel, press standby. On the chart plotter you have various information about your boat position, heading of the boat, true wind angle, true wind speed, true wind direction and depth. Depth is measured from the water line and the draft of the boat is 2 meters and 30 centimeters. To start the engine you need to press and hold the power button on this panel here. When you hear the beep you can start the engine by pressing start button. After you start the engine, please check that there is water running through the water cooling system, which is located on the stern port side of the boat. To stop the engine, press stop button and then hold power button until you hear beep. To disengage the gears, Press the button here and push the lever forward. If you are on the anchor, we advise to do that two times a day for one hour to recharge the batteries. Run the engine on 15 to 20 hundred RPM. Anchor remote is located here. Here is the anchor remote. Before using the anchor, make sure that you started the anchor control on the 12 volt panel and that the engine is on. Make sure that you lower the anchor slowly so you don't damage the boat. Diesel intake is on the stern starboard side of the boat. Size Matters is equipped with roll mainsail and furling jeep. To open Genoa, take the furling line. Place it around the winch and open the stopper. After that, take a jib sheet, put it around the winch and start winching the rope.
When you start opening the Genoa, have other person slowly release the Fermi line. To close the jib sail, close the stopper, put the furling line around the winch, and on the other side remove the jib sheet from the winch. After that open the stopper and slowly release the jib sheet. When you want to open the sail, move the lever in the free position. To open the main sail, you need to put the alcohol rope on the winch and start winching the rope. When you want to close the sail, put the lever on the other side. Remove the winch handle, remove the outhole rope from the winch, take the endless rope, put it on the winch, put the winch handle back on, open the outhole stopper and open the stopper of the endless rope on the left. When you are winching the sail, someone should slowly release the alcohol rope. Cockpit shower is located on stern port side of the boat. Lift the cover, take the shower, and use the lever to open the water, to regulate the temperature and to close the water. To control the swimming platform, use this button here. Before you start using it, keep in mind that you have to lift this step a little bit. To lower down the swimming platform, slightly push it with your hand and use the button. Make sure that the platform is completely lowered before stepping on it. Manual bilge pump is also on the stern port side of the boat. To use it, just take it out and pump vertically. Life jackets are placed in this couch on the starboard side of the boat. Navigation equipment is inside of the skipper table. In this cabinet you can find torchlight, first aid kit, binoculars and boat manuals. And lastly, all of the other equipment is inside the skipper chair.
rest of the equipment you can find in these two lazarets over here. Water hose, plastic bucket, mooring ropes, emergency tiller, spare gas bottle and everything else that you might need is located here. If you need it in the case of emergency, this is the place to put your emergency tiller. Take the winch handle, unscrew the cover, and then put the emergency tiller inside. Thank you for watching video check-in for both size matters. I hope you have a nice holiday and see you when you get back.